So setting me to make a new video, literally uploaded a day ago. Dreams Care Korea has 12 months left. Let's just move on to the next Dream video. Count hasn't changed in because the last video year. was then just scarring. His best friend's cancellation, the death of YouTube Minecraft culture, and a music career with its own Know Your Meme articles. And it seems Dream's future forecast is looking pretty gloomy. His impact is only getting weaker every single day, and it was set into motion by his initial face reveal. We've already <laughs> talked about it. Really was, was, wasn't decision, it? But to give a quick recap. Like, it really was where he started going really downhill. That's crazy, though. Like, why? It destroyed all his mystery. Before showing his face to the world, the video's mystery, teasing I guess. his reveal gained over 50 million views, also making him the most replayed segment of the 2020 Rewind, purely because his identity was hidden. Dream's anonymity also made him sit inside consistently grinding videos. I can count on, on one hand the number of times I left the house between the end of 2019 to when I faced real. Believing the face reveal would make him more social while expanding his presence through collabs with others. I will make more viral content as well, where I'm with me and my friends and we do things. Dream did successfully become more social, but this okay. didn't translate to the growth he might have wanted. His only four Minecraft videos Face posted didn't live up to the hype, I guess. Aww. 6.95 million views each, which is 85% less than the four videos from before his face reveal, which averaged 46 million views each. Now, perhaps oh. his post-face oh. reveal videos simply weren't as good, but they definitely didn't have the same feeling as those post I actually don't know. I don't watch like stream. There was nothing to look ever. forward to anymore. The story had been completed. The allegations didn't help either. They definitely didn't help, yeah. I completely but they weren't true from what I know. Face reveal. Never realized how big not showing his face played into his identity slash brand. The anonymous dream smiley face was used for music merch and his character, which was completely destroyed as soon as he showed his face. I think one of the reasons he became popular in the first place and developed the fan base that he did was due to his anonymity and especially his mask. People like the ones who seem to be obsessed with Dream easily pour their hearts into someone who they may know nothing about, as the mask makes it easier to project whoever they want Dream to be onto his character. Now that he's taken that away, the fans are no longer fantasizing about the unknown aspects of Dream and don't really care about him anymore, backed up by a PC Gamer article which added so the illusion fuck? of him yeah, being right? a supermodel unusual or perhaps a god amongst men <laughs> is born. He really is just a guy you'd see on the street. Even the intended benefit <laughs> becoming more social That's crazy. negatively impacted the quality of the videos. I went from <laughs> That's crazy that he isn't a god amongst men. Oh my god. No way. Dream is just a normal dude. Like, of course Dream is just a normal dude. Like, what do you mean? Holy shit, that is actually people just being so hyper parasocial. But amongst men is gone. He really is just a guy you'd see on the street. Even the intended benefit becoming more social negatively impacted the quality of the videos. I went from never leaving my house to being able to leave my house. Yeah. And so what do you think happened? I was less active. I posted not as much. I didn't, uh, you know, when I, when I did, I didn't practice Minecraft as much. So I wasn't as good at the game. I stopped uploading. I stopped doing stuff because I was like, oh my God, I'm able to. I didn't practice Minecraft as much. How do you, what do you mean you didn't practice Minecraft as much? It's not like, it's not like it's League or something, like where you're in like trying to get to Masters or whatever. What the? What? What? What are you talking about? Being able to leave my house. Yeah. And so what do you think happened? I was less active. I posted not as much. I didn't, uh, you know, when I, when I did, I didn't practice Minecraft as much. So I wasn't as good at the game. I... Oh, maybe, maybe. Okay, okay, maybe he just meant he didn't make as many Minecraft videos anymore? Okay, okay, I think that's what he meant. I think that was me just being stupid. Okay, okay, I got stopped it. Stopped uploading, I stopped doing stuff because I was like, oh my god, I'm able to actually go and, you know, do things now. Not to mention, he's only uploaded one real-life collab, which has since been deleted completely. The video vlogged his appearance in Mr. Beast's Antarctica video, for which he was criticized pretty heavily. I watched Mr. Beast's video about Antarctica, and I noticed the dream was in it, and he was extremely boring. And with the <laughs> face reveal downsides being... You was extremely boring! 
Now that she took the mask off, he's just boring now. The dream was in it, and he was extremely boring. And with the face reveal downsides being heavier than the upsides, dream stated this. I'm glad that it, I did it, um, but also there's many times where I was like, is this worth it? Uh, I don't yeah. know. Clearly regretting his choice to take off the mask, he'd upload a new video titled Buy From Dream, admitting to a loss in viewership. Ever since you took this stupid mask off, you've fallen off. You're irrelevant, you have no money, no views, you're trash. While writing below the video that he was returning okay. to anonymity, I will right. slowly be deleting all pictures of me online. And there is no going back, what do you mean? What do you mean? There is no going back, once on, t on the internet, forever on the internet. You can't take it back, bro. You cannot take it back. Going back to just being a gamer in a mask. I'll be walking it back. I will be getting rid of everything other than my new mask. It's That's not how this works. By deleting the original face reveal and doing an entire podcast wearing his see-through mask. Also heavily implying at VidCon, he was trying to reignite his original success. People asked about, you know, me putting the mask back on and, and had asked me, you know, a big question about why. The biggest reason is what it meant before, I think is really important. And bringing it back is important. <laughs> what that. did it he mean before? That the mask symbolized this. What did it happen? So meaning. It's going to symbolize to me like anyone can do anything. Yet it also symbolized the good old days and dreams popular. What do you mean symbolizes? It's just a fucking mask. It's like. It's like the VTuber. It's like a VTuber avatar. There's no meaning behind it. Delete the Me Canyon vid if you can dream Lamo. Wait, there's a Me Canyon video about Me Canyon? About Me Canyon? About dream? We're going to watch it right after this. peak despite claiming it hadn't happened. I, I don't feel like I've peaked on YouTube. Putting the mask back on was there for- Thank you for the prime sub! Thank you, Ninja Man! <laughs> or met with criticism. I'm guessing most likely he saw the, the view count dip and he was like, oh, yep. okay, this- It's 100% that's it. Out, so yeah. So I'm gonna go back, do what made me popular. Dream putting the mask back on is the most hilarious and the most depressing thing at the same time. <laughs> Others believe the announcement was very clearly satirical slash a promo for his music, oh. which doesn't look any more promising than the future of his YouTube. He posted his first music song called now? Road Trip in 2021, which was followed by another two singles called Mask and Change My Clothes, what? all of which have only one star on Rate Your Music. They're rated so bad! Mask and Change My Clothes, all of which have What? Wow! Wow! I guess he shouldn't make music, like, according to those. Holy shit! I've not heard any of his music! Only one star on Rate Your Music. 0% racism, 0% money, 0% sex, 100% garbage. No auto-tune, no mixing, just straight ass. Okay. This is a perfect example of the fact that just because you're famous doesn't mean you should make a song. Oof. Dream would therefore take a break to study the Ooh. music industry. But I did look into, you know, like singing and uh, production and writing and how just how, how, how things work in the industry. Although it's hard to gauge how truthful this even is, given most of his music, Music is made by other people. Dream and reference working oh. with producers. Work with some awesome professional producers and stuff yeah. that can that can make the sound really awesome. And being helped by writers. Usually there's another writer there and you're bouncing back and forth. Making you wonder the bitching what the mark dream. is even doing. <laughs> Talking to a to dream. <laughs> you have to be a good storyteller. You have to, you know, play things right and was dream saying you have to be able to sing because this is all he's doing you'd hope not given it's huh? been heavily criticized the singing is just not good and covered up with tons of reverb and touch-ups where it just doesn't sound like human at this point although Ooh. it seems to be pretty close to true for example mask was both written and produced by band risk and perish beats while the other two singles were also produced and written by others at least dream clearly controls the music videos although this only added another layer of of awful. In 2023, oh Dream released another seven songs, two okay. of which came with music videos, including one for the song Everest. Rather than doing something cool that would separate him from his YouTube channel, Dream put his mask on, got his two Minecraft friends, and danced with a bunch of girls who Whoa. weren't high models, but rather. Wait, 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 is that a lunity? Was that a lunity? Not a lunity, not a lunity. My bad, my bad. What's. No, what's her name? God damn it, all these fucking E thoughts look like they're all the same. Uh, what's her name? What's her name?
Emirate? Emirate, that's the name! Emirate! Yeah, 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 that's the one, that's the one! What the fuck? <laughs> Why is she in there? Bulls, but rather Gotta have those sexy women to make them money! Various Twitch streamers. Opening the door to a creeper just felt peak permanently online, and the rest of the songs weren't any less cringe. All seven made up the EP to- Wait, that was so cringe. Why? What? Line, wait, wait, wait. The songs weren't wait, wait, wait. Let me move to the left. Look at this. Any less cringe. What the All fuck? What the- Why? That's All such a waste. Online, and the rest of the songs weren't any less cringe. All what the, f the fuck, bro? Seven made up the EP to whoever wants to hear, which received 0 0.9 out of 5 stars on Rate Your Music and a not good rating by Anthony not Fantano, good. who called it inauthentic. Nothing on this EP sounds specific to Dream. It's more like a copy of 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 a copy. Of a copy. Of a copy. Ironically, Dream had acknowledged the need for authenticity, and it has to be genuine. You have to actually love to do it and want to do it because people can hear the emotion, you can feel the emotion, you can know if someone's doing if it's a cash grab. Adding that he was wasn't just using his YouTube fame to give him a boost in music. A big question I get asked is like, why aren't you just like another like YouTuber or something that's trying to just you know, use their fame to easily get into music or you know, get free streams or something? And I'm like, well, I don't think of it like that. Then why are you using all of your old YouTube branding as a base for your music videos? Why don't any mm. YouTube musicians mirror the success of Joji and renounce their YouTube career completely? Well, it's because it feels safer to do both simultaneously and Dream is definitely no exception to this. I I was a YouTuber first, I'll always be a YouTuber, and anytime I can try and mix the two, I will. I feel like I can I can definitely do both. I'm a YouTuber, and I also am a musician. His kind of half-commitment to each is making both careers I don't fail, think you're a musician, yet he still recently made the claim that he was going to top his man hunts. Recent ideas and stuff and stuff that I've been working on. Okay, I'm, I, I got this. This is this next one is uh, big news. It's hard to see exactly how this will happen with his half-baked commitment, which even on its own is making fans resent him. Uploading every three to four months is honestly a joke. Oof. What happened to consistently uploading? What does this man even do? I just can't respect such an inconsistent and slow upload schedule. I know stuff like man- Imagine being so entitled to needing a content creator to upload forever. Like, I get it that maybe there was a shift, but this is this is just the audacity, man. This is just the audacity of a viewer. This is just entitlement right there. You are not entitled to content. It's a luxury. Like, bro, chill. And hunt takes time, but I find it hard to believe that it takes a third of a year. My respect for Dream has just been going down. Feels like he doesn't take YT seriously. I know, quality over quantity, but the quality slash quantity rate is still pretty low. This therefore created even more irony. If I'm gonna do something, I'm gonna put my all into it. I'm gonna put my whole heart, I'm gonna put my whole brain, all, you know, all my time. And if this were true, his fans wouldn't be asking this. Why did Dream yeah. quit Minecraft? I didn't quit Minecraft. Exactly what Dream's been doing is a pretty damn good question. He hasn't posted music in nine months, on Instagram in six months, or to YouTube in four months. And if you're not Oof. working on content every single day, you're going to you're going to fall off. No way around it. You you are going to fall off. That is true. That is true. You're just going to fall off, and that's that. Unless, of course, you always had. Unless you were known for having that type of um, uploading schedule, that you make a lot of big videos, but only upload them three to four months apart because they take that long to make. Then, then that's that. But if you used to have like almost daily co uh, um, content or maybe a lot of weekly content, and then you suddenly shifted without a notice, without saying anything about it, you s just suddenly start only uploading three to four months, then you're going to fall off. Well, it likely has something to do with the cancellation of George Not Found. On the 9th of March 2024, Twitch Bugs Here we go. Here we go. Stream to state the following. Last year, at the beginning of Here summer, we go. I was assaulted by a significantly older and popular content creator. Twitter quickly discovered she was. My memory is a bit. Of... It's called hazy, phasey. I don't know. Wasn't she the one that claimed she was a former minor? 
Like, I remember this. I remember this. I don't remember the details. But wasn't she the one that said she was a former minor? Wasn't he like 19 and she was 17? Which one now? That assault was a hug, apparently. Yeah, so I heard as well. Like, and suddenly, like... And then she made, like, more videos afterwards where suddenly new information about it came out, like, she was 18, 18, she said she was 19. There's absolutely no difference in that, though. Like, what the fuck? Was talking it was about so... George he touched her belly. Yeah, so I heard it, like, okay, touching belly, like, it's like, <laughs> don't do that, bro, but, like, you don't have that kind of reaction over that. Like, you don't have that kind of reaction over that. Found, ...who preemptively tweeted, I've never and would never break someone's sexual boundaries or assault anyone before uploading a video titled Addressing a Very Serious Allegation. This is my side of the story of the two times that I ever interacted with Katie Bugs in real life. George spent 25 minutes offering his side of the story, which was met with a 10-page document response by Katie. As a result, George folded, tweeting, Since reading Katie's newest post, my perspective on that night and my overall conclusion has massively changed as she introduced new information that I was not aware of at all before. Question I have much mark. more I will say but for now Katie I am sorry. I am so sorry. I really hope you can hear my what? words and try to understand that I did not have any bad intentions before uploading another video response expanding the drama further. I made a response. But like regarding what? This is my response to her follow-up. Exactly who was in the what wrong has been heavily there? debated. Yet the important question for this video is whose the side fuck? was Dream on? Dream initially supported what George by writing, based on hearing both recounts of stories, being there myself and talking to everyone that was there afterwards, George's recounting of events is much closer to what actually took place. Uh -huh. Yet after George apologized, Dream changed his tune by taking the opposite side. Wait, what? I'm sorry, Katie. Um, I'm sorry for in any way whatsoever that I contributed to your um, pain. The obvious problem with the drama is that Dream and George make every video together. I'd love to thank George Not Found and Sapnap, my best friends. We were friends before YouTubers and we always will be. With George's weakened reputation adding yet another hurdle to Dream's ability to make a successful comeback. Additionally, Dream has had to debunk his own list of false allegations, which he cited as a reason he isn't uploading as often. As you guys have probably noticed, I took a long break from YouTube and uh -huh. since the face reveal, I've hardly really uploaded. And I've mm -hmm. really focused on other things and separated myself from a lot of the stuff I was doing mm -hmm. before. You may think that this was due to the hate from the face reveal or for other reasons. Probably really there is. Was something else that happened right after the face reveal. And it really made me step back from what I was doing and have a lot less passion. Minecraft YouTube in general just isn't what it used to be. That was and also that's why true. Dream has nowhere else to go. His only two options are either one, fully commit to a YouTube career playing a dying game with a dying audience, or two, fully commit to a mediocre music career that no one will take <laughs> seriously until the day he dies. Either way, his future wow. isn't looking promising, and while I could be proven wrong, he probably won't be relevant in only 12 months' time. Wow. Oof. That's crazy how he just switched sides, though. So that entire story, like, that happened, like, a year back or what? That shit was so weird, man. And, like, I, I just don't understand, like, especially this comment, right? Where is it? From, what's his name, George, or what? Like, this well, one. Another video. Go back. Like, since reading Katie's news post, my perspective on that night at my overall conclusion has massively changed as she introduced new information that I was not aware of at all. How are you not aware of the information of what happened between you and her? That's what I just don't understand. She lied about her age. Uh, okay, but was, wasn't she still 18? Was she 17 after all? She was 18, like... And she said she was 19. She said, yeah, legit, it doesn't even matter. 
my guess, the girl got convinced by another friend of hers that she got S8 when she wasn't, and George was convinced that he was in the wrong by Twitter Mongols. Probably. Like, the situation is so stupid. She definitely wasn't a minor anymore. Well, she definitely wasn't a minor. That, that's all there is to it. And he was how old? I He also isn't even George not found, right? Oh, George not found age. Twenty-seven. I'm gonna call a yikes on that one. Almost ten years apart. One year doesn't change anything, though. Like, one year like that doesn't really change anything. The new information was I need a PR campaign to not get cancelled. <laughs> Pretty much. Let's, let's go and find the Meat Canyon video, though. Meat Canyon. Uh, pop, pop, pop. Dream. Uh. Is it this one? Uh, the first one or the second one? Or both? Uh. Oh. Hi. <laughs> this is so awkward talking to the camera for the first time. <laughs> I'm Clay, also known as Dream. Uh, you, you may have heard of me or or not. <laughs> well, this is my face reveal, and this is what I look like. <laughs> I'm so happy to reveal my face to you, and I'm happy to be with friends and make IRL content. So, thank you for watching. Uh, okay. I probably won't show my face in future videos. <laughs> Just a heads up, but yep, here's my face. So, <laughs> thanks for watching. You're thanks. welcome. You did good, Dream. Very good. Uh oh. It feels wrong not revealing my full face. I, I feel like <gasps> oh! I'm lying to everyone. Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! Right, right. Does baby want some milk? Yeah. That's oh my god! I remember this. Oh it's shit! Oh, here. oh Latch. lord! Oh lord! There's my sweet prince. Oh my god! Feed up. By showing your face, you have solidified your fan base even more. What was once a name? Dude. Icon. Me Canyon is so disturbing. Now has mm. a soul. Your fans will adore you even more. Mm. And we can milk me for more time to come. Mm. So much delicious milk for every teary-eyed fan who saw your face. You make it sound so wrong. <laughs> like I'm manipulating millions of people who are no. irrationally attached to me in a no. deep emotional no. way. No dream. Uh. I feel dirty. Come on. You're not dirty. I'm not? You're just hungry. Oh, go on, right. latch it back. <laughs> there you go. That's my sweet little prince. There he is. My little dream. Yes, feed my little dream. Feed until your belly is nice and full. We have so much milk to give. Yeah, that's enough internet for the day, I would say. 